From the shores of Frederick Sound in Petersburg, Alaska, this is Frederick Soundings. Join us as we explore the lives of local marine mammals. This program is brought to you by the Petersburg Marine Mammal Center and KFSK Public Radio. Here's a riddle for you. Name two things that a high-tech fisherman, a killer whale, and a bat have in common. Hmm. I'm Lisa Strong for the Petersburg Marine Mammal Center. While these creatures inhabit very different environments, land, sea, and sky, the first thing a fisherman, a killer whale, and a bat have in common is they're all mammals. Okay, that was easy. The second thing they have in common is they use sound to find food. A high-tech fisherman uses technology to look for the fish he's after. Think of a fish finder or a depth sounder. These devices use sonar to see with sound. They emit a sound that travels through the water. When it hits an object, the sound's reflected back towards the device, which catches the echo and pinpoints the object underwater. Killer whales and bats don't need an external sonar device because theirs is built in. Their built-in biosonar is called echolocation. We can hear the echolocation clicks of a killer whale with an underwater microphone. The fish-eating resident killer whales use echolocation to find schools of salmon to eat. They generate clicks that go out and bump into objects, hopefully a fish, or even better, a school. The sound bounces back, hits the killer whale's lower jaw, then transmits the echo to the ears. The brain then builds an acoustic image of what's in front of the whale. The echolocation sound a bat makes is so high in frequency we can't hear it. But researchers have recorded the sounds and slowed them down so we can. Here's an echolocation sound of a brown bat slowed down 10 times. Given bats nail mosquitoes in the dark all the time, you can imagine their acoustic image must be very clear and precise. The extra credit answer is, the high-tech fisherman, the killer whale, and the bat will very likely not get caught in your hair. The Petersburg Marine Mammal Center is celebrating 20 years of education, collaboration, and marine mammal entanglement and stranding response. Have a topic you'd like us to cover? Comment on our Facebook page.